In this video, we're going to take a look at how to include mathematics in a LaTeX doctrine. Um, and so the specific type of mathematics we're going to look at is called inline. So that's when we're writing text, we're going to include equations directly in the sentence. So we'll go mathematics can be typed into, and now I'm going to do something a little bit fancy. So LaTeX, which is a specific command, as, and then I'm going to open a dollar sign, x squared, oops. Uh, and or, and then I'm going to do slash left bracket, um, a plus b, and so I'm just including some mathematics, squared equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And then I close this bracket here. Now if I recompile that, and if I zoom in, we see that the mathematics has come out. Now, you can see here I used a single dollar to uh, start and uh, close a section of mathematics, or I used a slash bracket. Now the slash bracket is actually preferred and recommended for various reasons, one of which is that it's easier for the computer and for humans to see when something opened and when something closed. The, there's, a very, there's a difference between a left and a right separator with the brackets. There's no difference between a left and a right separator uh, delimiter uh, with the dollar signs. And also note, look, it's compiled this LaTeX to look fancy. This extra slash is because if I didn't, it actually doesn't include a space. That's just telling it to have this blank space. And you can also see that we've got x squared coming up and a plus b squared, the twos up there. And there are various other mathematical things that we can do, but this is the basic way to um, include inline mathematics. And you should use the slash bracket. 